आर्ट्स जिसको लेने के बाद माँ बाप के ताने और टेलर स्विफ्ट के गाने दोनों समझ में आने वाले हैं वेल जोक सब पार्ट वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इज स्टडिंग अबाउट ह्यूमैनिटीज शेमफुल वेल इफ आई हैव टू आंसर दिस इन वन वर्ड इट्स नो बट द क्वेश्चन इज वाई इन द वर्ल्ड वेर चूजिंग साइंस और कॉमर्स विच पीपल थिंक इज द ओनली वे टू अर्न और टू बी एम्प्लॉयड बाई अकेडमिक स्टडीज इज द नॉर्म वॉट डज आर्ट्स और ह्यूमैनिटीज प्रोवाइड देयर well i will take you to this journey of finding the answers chapter 1 birth of humanities to know anything about studying humanities we have to dive into the history of it we have to know ki ye arts ya humanities word aaya kahan se aur iska meaning kya hai agar sirf india ki baat kare to it has a very rich and old history because even before the moguls there were universities like nalanda which existed and also known for their studies regarding to humanities we also find it in cicero's quote studia humanitatis as well a well known youtuber named rc walden has already talked about in his video i found a term that basically perfectly described the process of education this term was coined by cicero and it is studia humanitatis direct translation means the study of the humanities so studia humanitatis really became a symbol for the italian renaissance so basically during the italian renaissance studying about humanities became a thing obviously renaissance did not happen in one day but before that priests were the one who were ruling the society and everything was revolving around god and stuff which was literally too much for the people then after people realized ki oh ye to hamare sath galat ho raha hai they started a revolution and the revolution they started was renaissance which means rebirth the word humanities comes from the latin word humanus meaning human cultured and refined culture includes speech knowledge beliefs arts technologies ideals and social rules through these mediums they have shown their protests by giving humans the utmost priority they started thinking by themselves rationally and logically more than believing that everything is destined by the almighty and everything that is happening is god's will they started learning about human behavior human psychology philosophy they started painting pictures jisme zyada se zyada insano ko aur nature ko dikhaya jane laga mona lisa by leonardo da vinci is the greatest example of this and as well as of feminism science mathematics and technology ke bare mein bhi isi time se charcha hone laga these may be are actually not the topic we're discussing but yeah everything is connected no matter what chapter 2 humanities in our lives Previously we have discussed about the birth of the term humanities but it is still not clear how it is related to our everyday life well if you want to study anything related to humanities for self improvement you don't need to start from the abc's of this or neither do you need to be a master at it it's totally for your self improvement and of course humanities is not bound only to some cliche quotes related to philosophy and whatever you know what i'm talking about but for self improvement you can categorize it for yourself go explore it with all your efforts read a book related to it go to the book store or search online order them finish one at a time and then go for another or you can learn it from the mother nature itself Go explore yourself in the woods, bridges, temples or wherever you find peace sitting by yourself. This is also some kind of philosophy that is just between you. Yeah, I'm no I'm defining the real philosophy in a very absurd way, sorry philosophers, but believe me, if you are just a beginner in the process of being a human, it is the easiest way to start your life's journey in a new way. What it will do is it will allow yourself to think. and thinking by yourself is still the hardest thing you can do with yourself you are allowing yourself to think critically and rationally from a very 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 beginner level eventually you will find yourself being better better by body by soul now if you want to see it from a religious perspective here's an example 
Leonardo da Vinci once described how if a human stretches his body widely in a particular manner it can be perfectly fit in a circle like this and you know the place of the almighty was the church so the top of the church should be round because this shape does not have any beginning or end it proves that like the almighty the human body also has no limitations and is a part of god himself so from that perspective as a human being you should not let yourself think that you are not capable of something so go out exercise sit in the sunlight and take care of your body each and every day and yes if you start taking care of your body your mind and soul will automatically be clean and fresh sit and meditate well by studying literature you will find yourself in a completely different way earlier i have been talking about only self improvement but yourself is not by you alone there are still things you need to explore through other people relationships compassion sympathy empathy emotions all comes from building bridges to other people's heart your connections to other people will define how good of a human being you are your behavior towards other people will define your character literature is directly connected to your mind and your thinking capabilities the more you dive deep into any kind of literature the more you will discover yourself and discovering yourself doesn't mean you will only find positivity in there but it will help you conquer the dark sides of your life too now these were only the three examples i've told you but there are so many more things in the term humanities that needs a dedicated video for each of them till then do these things and start focusing and have faith in yourself Chapter Three: Humanities as a Career. The answer of the first question lies here. What role does humanities play in modern society? We have previously talked about the history of it and the self-improving concept of it, but the most important thing is the career related to this. An Indian YouTuber named Aman Dhatrawal has already talked about it in one of his shorts. Hospitality, aviation, sales, marketing, journalism, graphic designer, video editing, animator, film making, theater, music, dance, okay, event management, PR, law, or computer, B C S, कर सकते हो इसमें और सारे government exams तो You know what he is talking about the career options regarding to humanities is wide open but the thing is there is still a social norm that only commerce and science students are able to achieve a healthy and upper middle class lifestyle by the academic studies especially in India but let me remind you of the career opportunities regarding to humanities you can do any of them mentioned before by your choice and what you must not forget that still the richest people in history never relied on their college degrees to make money whether it is elon musk or jamshed ji tata the most famous artists in the history like michael angelo leonardo da vinci rafael were artists by their talent and not by any degrees so it's really not about the stream you pick to study but about the talent the sense of humanity you have in yourself